Sister and brother out in the forest. With grandpa too. They love going in the forest with their grandpa. They had a special way to do it. They walked in silence. They walked together, quiet, 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 quiet. That's how they did it. And they listened, and they looked, and they listened, and they looked, and they walked, and they walked. And when one of them saw or heard something, they had signaled everyone else, and everyone would get quieter, even quieter, which means they stopped walking to see what it was or hear what it was. So they're walking, walking. A deer. They saw a deer, not just one with two little fawns. Oh, look, 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 look. Now, they didn't say that. I said that. They were quiet, but that's how it felt. That's how it felt. And they watched that deer with their little ones. The two fawns, oh, so cute. But the deer knew. And she looked right where they were. And off she went, running swiftly. There go the little ones too. Look at them run, look at them run. Look at them run. Now they didn't say that. I'm saying that so you can get the feeling. But they didn't say a thing, brother and sister. Grandpa, no, they just watched, watched. And after the deer was far away, on, looking and listening and looking and listening. <laughs> Blue Jay, hey Blue Jay, hey Blue Jay, hey hey Blue Jay, Blue Jay. They didn't sing that, but that was singing in their minds and in their hearts. Looking at that Blue Jay, Blue Jay looking around. Hey there, Blue Jay, hey there, Blue Jay. Blue Jay flies away. And then sister and brother had out, they already know without saying anything. They always like to check out in the marsh, the beaver lodge. They hardly ever saw a beaver, but they'd go and they'd get behind some bushes and on this day of this story, there was not one, but two beavers. They'd never seen two beavers before. What a day, what a day, what a day. And they moved from there and they walked on and, ooh, kind of a mound on the ground, mound on the ground. It's moving, it's like, whoa, boom. <laughs> a little mole poked its nose right up out of the hole. They'd never seen a mole before in this forest. What a day. And they kept walking and walking. And they came to a clearing where there weren't so many trees, bushes, some rocks. And Grandpa said, I think I'd like to sit down for a while. And he sat on a rock and they sat down on lower rocks because they liked to look up at Grandpa sitting on that rock. Oh, Grandpa, remember that time we were near another rock? I don't think it was this one. And you told us the stories of the storytelling stone, the stories the Iroquois tell about the stone who told the people all those wonderful stories. And you told us some that day that was amazing. Would you tell us a story now? And Grandpa said, well, hmm, I guess so, let me think. We just saw all those great animals, running deer, squawking, flying, blue jay, beaver out there, 
with his beautiful lodge, mole in the ground. Here's a story, because you know, it wasn't always that way, you know, here and there and here and there. One day, the animals got together. They had an idea. We could be all alike. We should be all alike. I like it. I like it. We should be all alike. Some other animals heard it. They liked that idea too. They liked each other and they'd like to be more with each other all the time. We could be all alike. We should be all alike. I like it. I like it. We should be all alike. Oh, they were singing and they were getting happy about this new idea. Oh, there's Beaver. Did you hear our song, Beaver? What do you think? And Beaver sang, I like it, I like it. We should be all alike. We should be all alike. I'll tell you what, I don't really need to live out there in the marsh in the lodge. I can live here near all of you. That'll be better, because we should be all alike. Oh yes, we should be all alike. And just then, Mole popped up. Look it up. What do you think, Mole? And Mole said, I heard that, and I like it, I like it. We should be all alike. We should be all alike. I don't need to live down in this tunnel anymore. It's so lonely. I'll be up here with all the rest of you. This is going to be so good, because we should be all alike. We should be all alike. I like it, I like it. We should be all alike. Oh, Blue Jay. What do you think, Blue Jay? And Blue Jay sang, I like it, I like it. We should be all alike. We should be all alike. You know, I don't need to live in a nest anymore. I'll come down here, just walk around with all of you. This will be... And as a matter of fact, talking about walking around with all of you, you know, it makes me think about all of us and all of us being together. And you know, I can fly and none of you, well, some of the other birds, but none of you can fly. That's not really fair. You know what? I'm gonna stop flying because we should be all alike. We should be all alike. I like it, I like it. We should be all alike. Here comes deer. Hey deer, did you hear? Yes, I did. I like it, I like it. We should be all alike. We should be all alike. And I also heard Blue Jay. Blue Jay had a very good idea about that not flying anymore. And I was thinking about what I do that everyone else does not do, and that is fast running. I am so swift, so fast, but that's really not fair to all the rest of you. So I'm gonna stop running, cause we should be all alike. We should be all alike. I like it, I like it. We should be all alike. Well, this went on for a while. Look at all those houses on the forest floor. They are living all alike. Smoke. 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 You smell it? Uh-oh. There's a fire. It could be in the forest. I smell the smoke. It's hard to tell where it's coming from. We gotta find out where this fire is and so we can know which way to go to escape. How are we gonna find out? Oh, oh, Blue Jay, Blue Jay, you go fly. Find out where that fire is. Come back and tell us so we know which way to go to escape. And Blue Jay said, I don't fly anymore. I don't, I don't know how to fly anymore. Oh my, 
That's right. You stopped flying. Okay, it's okay, Blue Jay. Deer, deer, go run, go. Go run and find out where the fire is. And you can tell us and we'll know which way to go to, to escape. I don't run anymore. I can't run like that anymore like I used to. I've been, I haven't run for a long time. I can't run like that. Oh no. Beaver, 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 you go swim. I don't swim anymore. Oh no. Okay. And then they, oh, they could see. They could see fire back in that direction. There's the fire. Okay, let's just go. Let's go. And they all traveled together across the forest floor. They traveled and traveled. Oh no, are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? It started to rain. It started to rain. first to speak then. I'm going to fly again. I'm going to get strong and teach my little ones to fly so they will know that their flying can help all the rest of us. And Deer said, I'm going to run again as swift as the wind and I'll teach my little ones our running say a thing. Mole just dug into her tunnel. And Grandpa was finished the story. So, there's your story. What do you think? And the brother and sister listened and thought they had already listened, of course. And they thought, and brother looked at his sister and said, you should be just like you. Now they sometimes argued and things, but they, deep down, they loved each other. And the sister looked at her brother and she said, and you should be just like you. I like it, I like it. Now I can see I should be just like me I should be just like me I like it, I like it Now I can see I should be just like me I should be just like me And that's the story. 